Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Um, today I'm going to be starting a new series, and I'm going to be making a batch file game. Uh, you guys can copy what I'm doing um, and follow along, or you can change up how the how the game works a bit, but still follow along if you know what I mean. So first thing we'll do, e echo off, and then we'll save it. Control S to desktop, and we'll call it my batch file dot with a dot bad extension at the end and then we'll click save and then to make things easier we'll click run modify shortcut slash delete command right oops sorry wrong one we'll do run sorry <laughs> jeez I forgot it right and then we'll go here click the three dots go to desktop and find your batch file that you called it and then save and then call it but just call it um my batch file you don't have to call it this that's just oh that's optional you can call it whatever and now that it's saved if we click run here it's right there and then it just runs the batch file so you probably didn't see it because I didn't do a pause but anyway, so we'll just start by with the title and we'll call it um what should we call it let's just call it batch file game and we'll set the color to 2 because that means that 2 is green so we'll just do that and then we'll go to uh, main menu and then we'll do main menu CLS and then we'll do echo 1 bracket and then we'll do um, I reckon we should make some loading and save files in this one I think because uh, then it'll be a good way to understand it. So we'll start off with one. So we'll do start new game. Echo 2. And we can do continue. Oh, continue. And echo 3. And we can do save. Echo 4. Load. And then I reckon I want to do a choice command for this one. So choice slash C, one two three four, and then we'll just we won't know it because we want them to see what we're doing or what the options are anyway. So if the error level equals first the first option, then go to start new game. If error level equals two, go to continue. If error level equals three, go to save. If error level equals four, go to uh, load. All right, now that we've done that, so we've got all the options set. What we'll do now, I reckon, uh, I think we should do start new game. So start new game. CLS. All right, we'll just get a couple lines in. So, for starting a new game, we will, um, what should we do, how's it going to work? Alright, so, we should say, echo, oh, echo, what do you want your character to be called? And then we'll do some input, so, set slash p, character name equals character name and then then they will set their character name and um then we'll do CLS echo and what we'll do um we'll say oh uh, echo do you do you want to create a save file now and then we'll do choice slash C YRN and if error level equals one go to uh, create or we'll just go to save and then if error level equals two go to um go to well we'll just leave that blank for now because we don't know actually you know um so if they don't want to create a save file now we'll just go to uh go to continue so continue continue 
and then echo. So now what we should do is um all right, so let's just test and see if everything works. So my batch file. So now see look that's loaded. I reckon it looks pretty boring at the start here, so what we can do to spice things up is let's just move it more into the middle. I'm guessing that's somewhere around the middle. Alright, so now that we've moved it into the middle, or what I think is the middle, let's see if it is. Oh, a bit too far. And then we'll run my batch file. There we go, perfectly centered in the middle. So now we can probably just make a little bit more designs on it. So we can do that, and then we'll do we'll probably do a bunch of equal signs. Once it looks about even, about that, no, oh, about that I think, and then we'll do. Nope, can't do that. All right, so we're gonna have to do that individually. All right, so now. I reckon what we'll do is we will just do echo here and then we'll go and just finish it off like that. And then we'll see if that looks a little bit better. There we go, that looks that looks a lot better now. So it has a bit more style to it. Now another thing you can do is we can just do times or just a little star thing to sparkle things up a little bit. <laughs> oh, it just makes it a little bit more interesting. Make sure to pull these back in. And there we go. Now we'll see if that looks a bit better. There we go. So now I've got a full main menu. So we'll start a new game. What do you want your character to be called? Uh, we'll just call it newbie. <laughs> you want to create a save file now or not? So now we can. I reckon we should get going to do the save file real quick. So save, seal us, echo. Um, what would you like to call your save file? And then they'll do an input. So set slash p save file name equals save name. And then then what we'll do is should we make it password encrypted? Nah, we won't. If we wanted to do it password encrypted, I could probably just do another video on how to make password encrypted ones. But we won't do that for now because it's it's a little bit complex. So now what we'll do so they called the save file whatever they wanted to call it. Then we'll say we'll echo all of the variables into it. So not sure what we're going to be calling them, but we'll just do this for now. So, um, then we'll do save file name dot save file, and there we go. Now that we've done that, we'll do echo saved progress, and then we'll go pause, go to continue, and. Then what we'll do, so we'll just echo some of our variables first, so what we'll do is, um, what we'll do is we'll echo our, what should our currency be? So we're going to need some currency, because I'm reckoning, I reckon we should make this game as in a, so it's going to be like, you're going to fight some bad guys, and then you're going to collect money from when you fight them, and you can go to the shop, buy some upgrades, you know? So, um, we will do gold for the currency or something and then we can do um we'll do some other things a bit later so maybe some items or strength um yeah we'll, we'll sort that out a bit later so for now it's just that so echo continue so um uh how are we gonna do this okay so we'll set gold here set gold equals 50 so now the save files should be working so save would you like it to be called say oh, game progress access is denied hold on that's odd so basically if I run it on the desktop and I do save and then I call it like save or something 
it saves perfectly fine. And then it does a save file. And let's make sure it is echoing the variables into it. Yep. I don't know why it's saying that its access is denied, but that's odd. Anyway, we'll just start it from the desktop then. Alright, so echo. Um, what should we do now? So, uh, we'll do one go to the shops echo two find a battle and we'll do another choice command I'm going to be using the choice command throughout my whole game or if you want you can do the input one so for example you can do that and then just input whatever do that and then if input equals one go to shop you know something like that if it equals two go to um find battle you know you could do something like that um but then they have to enter it and you, they have to type a number in they have to press enter and it's just it just gets a bit iffy so i just like to do the choice command now uh throughout my games so if it equals okay so choice two and then we'll do if error level equals one go to um we'll go to shops shops if error level equals oh, equals two go to find a battle there we go so now i reckon we'll do the find a battle first and then we'll move on to the shop Alright, so now that we've got that sorted, so we've got the skeleton of the game done, pretty much. Now we just have to actually, no, we need to do loading. We need to do our load now, so load. Now do echo. Oh, CLS first. Echo, please type the name of your save file. Set slash p, save name equals save file name and then if alright so basically in this what in this series this isn't going to be a tutorial to like learn stuff in I have other videos for that and you can go check them out um they should it should like everything that I'm doing right here in these videos should have been in uh, any all my other videos so um, yeah, so you, we should have learned that by now if you've been following along with all the videos. So, if, uh, if the save name exists, so we'll do save name dot save, what do we call it? Save file. And we'll do this. So, if exists, save name, um, go to load progress and if it doesn't exist then we're gonna echo sorry but that save doesn't doesn't exist pause go to uh, main menu main menu and then we'll go load progress load progress CLS echo no we'll do do this one and then we'll do save name dot save file save file and then oh what the hell and then we'll do a bracket and then we'll do set slash p gold equals and then a bracket there and then we we'll just go echo progress loaded pause alright I think that's gonna be all for today um or all for this video anyway I'll try and upload another video today as well um this was just a part one we will do more in part two so thank you for watching don't have to like or subscribe or anything just I hope you enjoyed so I'll see you in part two